the Hazardous Material channel. Today we're here with Negative Earth and we just have a few pet questions for them. So first of all, let's start off with your guys' names. Introduce yourself to our viewers. Hey, I'm Zed. I'm Trev Hill. I'm Esther. I'm Seth. And what do you guys all do in the band? I play bass. I love vocalist and guitar. I play keyboards and music. Okay. So how long have you guys been a band? Uh, <laughs> 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 it's been about a year, I guess. Uh, well, over a year now. Yeah, officially, I guess. And then, but uh, Zed just joined us two months ago, three months ago. Three or four, three or four. Is it going by my aunt payment? So <laughs> 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 Alright, so are you guys all the original members other than him? Uh, uh, well, yeah, it's sort kind of, of, kind of, of yeah. Of li for live shows, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. And where did you guys get your game? Why not? Uh, at the time, we were just looking for something that was just really cool. And uh, <laughs> my one friend got it off a car battery. And it was just, yeah, it was a name and everything. I just thought it was really cool. But then it started fitting in with uh, <laughs> image and uh, yeah. you know, everything behind the music. So. <laughs> How many albums do you guys have out right now? Uh, we just got the one out, yeah. and uh, yeah, that's released at the moment. So. Will you guys be releasing a second one anytime in the future? We are. We're uh, currently writing, working on the follow-up album. Um, yeah, that's, that's what's that. <laughs> <laughs> and it, um, okay, I got a weird one for you guys. What's the strangest thing to happen to you guys as a band collectively? Like the funniest or weirdest? Zed joining. <laughs> hey, yeah. Worst yeah. decision ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I said hostility. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's the worst thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, we did that, yeah, we just played a, a couple shows in Saskatchewan just to, for fun and yeah. Yeah, it's kind of our first experience. Okay. And as a band, band, how much would you say you guys party? Like, go out? Party? Like, 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 as a band or yeah. individuals? As a band or individuals. Oh, I think we went out once. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> once or twice, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Alright. So, do you guys have a... If you guys had to categorize your music, what would it be? Like, what kind of music categories would you put your band into? I'm talking so much, you guys. Yeah, well, I mean, we figured that's what you do, right? So, <laughs> um, if we had to categorize it, probably um, industrial, more or less. Is there a category for awesome? Who <laughs> 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 edit that out? Yeah. <laughs> Have a general theme to your music, or do you tell a story with your songs? Uh, the first, like our album, Antithesis, is pretty much based on uh, general, like, personal experience. Like um, second, the follow up album is basically uh, not going to dive into any personal experience, it's just great. Uh, yeah. fictional characters and events and stuff like that. So you guys have done a few videos that I actually I wouldn't take the time to watch. Um, what was your experience? Oh yeah, do my homework. <laughs> but uh, what was your guys' experience with that? Were positive, negative? Uh, both. Well, positive, I think. Well, we had a bit of both, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. What was yeah. the negative experience of it? <laughs> Let's not mention that. Yeah. Okay, I'll leave it that. I'll leave that one. <laughs> there was I think I crossed the line. Yeah, there was both. But uh, mostly positive for sure. Yeah. So a lot of fun. And if you had any advice for newer bands, what would it be? Make as many contacts as you can. Yeah. It's all about who you know, right? Yeah. And uh, work with constantly. Yeah. Definitely. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, how much free time would you guys say you have, or how often do you practice? Uh, once. Once a week, we rehearse. That's as a group. Yeah, yeah as a group, regularly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're, we have a, basically we have scheduled two times a week. 
but right now it's because we're not playing any shows, we're just doing it. And then we all practice at home as well. Will you be playing any shows in the near future? Um, there's, yeah, I mean, just basically we'll address the 2014 off. Because um, we're just writing so much, and we're basically looking to get back into playing shows for 2015. Um, there's some dates that are discussed for the first few months of next year, but I can't say anything else. Yeah. So, yeah. And out of all the bands that you've played with in the past, who would you say is your favorite to play with as people and as musicians? That is tough. Well, I like to, yeah. I like to throw a curveball every yeah, now and again, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I enjoy playing with Soundscraper. It's my friend's band, really good. Um, Tribune is cool. Tribune is good. Uh, Actually, I, I know some of the guys in Tribune. Oh, really? Yeah, They're crazy. In Vancouver. Right on. Yeah, they're, cool. they're pretty cool. And, uh. Yeah, I thought this is actual where I like the first one as well. Yeah, Feeding Fiction was cool. It's awesome. Saskatoon. Mm -hmm. And, uh. Kind of drawn a blank. That's the highlights. Yeah. And. Who would you say is your funniest band member who cracks most jokes or plays most pranks? <laughs> I like this question. Uh, depends. Are we talking about jokes or just making fun of them? Uh, both. Are they good jokes? Yeah, are they good jokes? No, they can be, they can be horrible jokes, but who makes them like I think, I think Zed is probably the most humorous and stable with his, well, his mood, I guess. Well, he has to be very defensive, too. If yeah, he's going to... Look at how we're treating him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would say the most thick skinned, not defensive. So. Okay. Yeah. 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 Definitely so, thick skinned. Yeah, he has to be. So. Yeah. He puts up with it well. <laughs> we're, we're pretty good at giving each other shit on a regular basis. Yeah. <laughs> and out of all the places you've played, what's your favorite? Right. Thank you. Uh, Dickens was cool. Morgan's was pretty good. Morgan's was always fun. Really small stage, but like great time every time he played there. Studio 82 was awesome. Um, Von Baker was fun. Oh yeah, Von Baker's always yeah. awesome. It's so, so, so tiny, but it's just yeah, it's good people make good stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, running out of questions. Puppies or kittens? Puppies. Yeah, uh, no. Kittens. Oh, fight you. Whatever. There's nothing more metal than kittens. The reason why is because a cat is designed to destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> you take the biggest, the biggest dog and the biggest cat ever. Who's going to win? The cat's going to destroy it. Yeah. Think about that. The cat is a fucking killing machine. Point taken. Point taken. Anyways, from... Silly band members to diabolical kittens. <laughs> this has been hazardous material and negative earth. <laughs>